Stefan Stark and Grant Larsson. These are the two names that 1993 made a prototype of the Boxster. Since then, the model has grown to be a breathing proper mid-engine from Porsche with the latest 718 Boxster GTS. This one is the 981 Spider and is one of the top range models. And I love that Larsson and Stark looked back in our Porsche history books, digging down to the 550 and later on, especially to this model, looking at the Spider from the 60s. But unfortunately, the uh, spectacular decision of going back in the history book didn't go all the way through to the engineer, placing a six-cylinder engine in the Boxster. But the engine in this car are marvelous. I wouldn't have any other engine in the Spider. It is uh, the perfect match for this car. It's 3.8 li liter engine from the GTS 991.1 is suited perfectly and the sound that you get accelerating mind-blowing mind-blowing and it's got these uh, blubs etc when you lift off the foot as uh, many boxster has and i love it love it love it it's a different soundtrack in the spider compared to the other and it's one of the best i tell you this much i love it very much and driving the spider is a treat. It is um, the same. It's the same chassis as the standard 981 car. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry to say, but it is not as good as the 718 GTS. And I I can understand why it is faster on Nurburgring. Yes, the 718 Boxster GTS is faster on Nürburgring, but the Spider is way better composed. About 2500 unit was built, making it attractive on the second hand market, keeping its value high. Less is more. Porsche has worked hard to get the weight down from the 981 Boxster and you are able to feel it when you drive. In fact, it is 25 kilo lighter than the sister GT4. 60 kilos, that's how much lighter the Spider is compared to the 718 Boxster GTS. And the weight savings is something that you feel when you go around the corners on the B-roads, but it comes with a price. It takes a few seconds more to, to get the top down, a price that is well invested. But it is also as simple as with the Boxster, except for you have to do it yourself. There are though a few electric startups. You simply hold the button in the center console that we always do and everything is prepared. Then it's very straightforward. You take this Ferrari 599 design and, and fold them back and put them in position. You do that obviously on the both sides and it is just an easy maneuver. And then it starts because now you should open the lid and, and the feeling you have at this position is that you're gonna lift the entire car. I mean, look how huge this, this rear lid is. It is spectacular. And then, and then you go to the front and you take a good grip in the center and you fold it down. Look how beautiful it is. And you push it down, creating like a nice picnic table in the center. And then you, you just fold down these flaps on the sides. And then you go back and you push back your car. Oh, it's an enormous lid. And then you're done. This is like a transformer. I mean, take a look at it. it. It now is a total different shape and look how it looks. It is beautiful with the lines. And perhaps this is it. The bulges that creates the heritage from the spiders from 1960. And I think they are as beautiful as it gets. 
I think this is the main shape that creates the flow and the, let's say, speed that the design is, is a symbol of. Sitting in the spider creates a lot of feeling. One feeling is actually that I feel beautiful. Yes, you heard me right. For the very first time, I look good. Well, actually, not for the first time. The first time was when I was in a church, in the front of the church, together with a priest. The door opened and my wife entered. Well, at that point, she wasn't actually my wife, but she stands there with her beautiful wedding dress and she looks astonishing, making me look better. When you look at the steering, I do have a slight complaint. The reaction is like I, I, I turn the car left and right, but I, the, it's, it's, um, it's a delay when I turn it. It's easiest if you go slower and you can test it on your own spider if you have one and you quickly turn your car left and right and you can see feel like a turbo lag in the steering that you don't have in the 718. But when you put the throttle down, you have forget all about it. And that is not a fault in the spider. I must be clear on that. It is just um, something you have to adapt to when you drive the car. For me, I just needed a few corners and I needed to feel the car a bit left and right to adapt to it. Nothing wrong with it. Just be clear on that. I don't need a hit to believe that I'm living You can lock me up if my tongue keeps slipping I'ma keep spitting up rhymes I'm digging And you can be my fame Don't need a fast car to imagine I'm tripping You can light it up, girl, I ain't the guy judging And baby, that's on me, I don't need a boost This is every part of me and everything I do If it's the money part you're digging me I will take you to a place downtown But if you don't like all the bling you see I'll show you my little smoother side And when we are out cruising You don't need my hand to In the back you have this huge or, or bigger rear wheel spoiler compared to the standard 981 Boxster because in the front you will find the GT4 aerodynamics package and this pushes the car down and therefore you need a more rear wing uh, in the back to push back, back the rear end to get the stability. And these cars are really stable. I would like to mention one more thing and I'm, I can hardly film it. It was actually the owner informing me that, okay, I will film it for you. Look, this is not the brake lights because that's further up. This is a fog light. Why? Why Porsche? That, this is not necessary. And perhaps with the upcoming new design where, where you frame in the new design language with Porsche in the 718 Spider, this might ends up being a perfect uh, solution. But on this model, I would actually recommend to tint this part to get it more connected with the badges. And um, the Spider is equipped like the GT car. It has the GT Sport steering wheels, the beautiful, nice bucket seat. The same actually I have in my 991.2 GT3. Uh, this car is quite equipped, I would say. It reminds me a lot of uh, my own car because it has, uh, you know, been ticked all the Alcantara, I believe, the carbon fiber. So it's uh, very well equipped. But I think when you, especially when you have the red stitching against the guard red, body coat and the guard red calipers, mm, it makes sense. Driving uh, in this bucket says connects me to my GT3. It feels more or less that I'm in my GT3 without the roof. <laughs> and these share, actually, if I remember correctly, the Spider could be optional with comfort seat or sport seats and also the 918 seats. 
from my perspective, I think the Spider should only have the bucket seats. It is um, uh, focused on weight, and as I have said, it's 60 liter, 60 kilos lighter than the 718 GTS. And um, then why add so much weight in the comfort seats? No, stick with the bucket seats. Again, I find myself in a convertible and um, it is so nice letting the nature in, extend the driver experience and obviously getting all the sounds from the car more direct into the coupe. And the gearbox, I would like to say something about it, because when, when I shift up to third gear, I'm basically the last one reviewing the Spider on YouTube, and a lot of people talk about the third gear, if it is too long or if it is, um, uh, you know, in harmony with the second and fourth, fourth gear. And uh, yeah, I think they are right. It is not a uh, hundred percent connection on the third third gear, uh, but I think that is a choice that they actually made to not making this car too fast. So yes, the third gear is a bit long. This Spider is nothing to be afraid of. In fact, it is a beautiful car to drive, and it's astonishing to look at. If you're into market to buy a Porsche and your brain or yourself are mentally locked to the national aspirated engine, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. If you compare the 997.2 GT3 and the 991.1 uh, GTS and look and add obviously the Spider and comparing them, the choice are quite easy. I would select the Spider any day of the week. Yes, it is seven seconds slower than the GT3 around Nordschleife, but not with me behind the wheels. And the 991.1 that does not have a possibility of rear wheel steering, hmm, let's say that that's just a huge GT Cruiser compared to the second generation 991. This particular car are the perfect choice. It has the noise, it has the drivability, it actually you can have the top down, it's light. Remember, this car is 60 kilo lighter than the uh, 718 GTS and a couple of kilo lighter than the GT4. That you should bear in mind when you make your purchase choice. Mm -hmm.